Hey guys, Captain here again. Today I'm talking about the Holdout 2. I've reviewed the Holdout 3 before. This is the Holdout 3's big brother. Uh, and the little brother of the Holdout 1, which is the big 6 inch version. The blade on this is 4 inch OS 8. And it has a full flat grind on it with a little secondary bevel. G10 handles, no liners. Uh, it's got this triad lock and it does have an ambidextrous uh, pocket clip so you could flip it from side to side very easily and this thing is a beast i l absolutely loved the holdout three anyone that hasn't seen that review go check it out uh just a really awesome knife this one is equally as awesome and this one is a little bit more menacing too so here in jersey i can't carry around a five and a half or six inch knife what will happen if I get caught with it, I'll get arrested or I'll get it taken away. And why am I going to buy, buy a knife to have it taken away? This I could carry every day and it is a little bit intimidating when you look at this. You know, if I'm carrying this, I always make sure I have a simpler, easier knife like a Swiss Army or just a regular simple lockback or something like that. So it's not so intimidating if I need to use something for a small task. And I know that for any bigger task or any uh, self-defense purposes, this is going to be exactly what I need. Um, and it is a bigger knife. I've got big hands and you can see this really fills up your whole hand and you have quite a bit sticking out. And it really is a, a very large blade on this thing. Really, really nice piece. You can see, uh, just like the uh, Holdout 3, you have these just milled out at the top. So we choke up on it, still have a grip without slipping off or forward, which is great. You still have this little bit of jimping right here, which is fantastic. It's aggressive. So if you have your finger all the way up, you're not going to end up sliding forward. You still have this little notch in the G10, which is great. That's actually there for the pivot pin this way you could pivot that up um, the uh, thumb stud rather and um, but it also works just to you know, choke down on it do something like that fit your middle finger in there get a better grip you can see there's four holes on this and the holes get more and more the bigger the knife gets uh, super light same detail on the back spacer as on the holdout three stainless steel clip um, this thing's awesome this thing's a beast just a really cool fucking knife and one of the the more intimidating knives i think just because of the style it has that reminiscent of the dagger which is again is illegal in new jersey to have <laughs> any double-edged blade um but it it has that while still sticking with that classic ski and do feel uh, although it's more of like a, almost like a, a boot knife, I would say. Um, just a really fucking cool piece. This is a, this is a pocket dagger, really. I mean, this thing is just totally boss. I love everything about this knife. Um, I carry this thing all the time now. I, I say that about a lot of my knives, but generally my bigger cold steels are always in my everyday carry rotation, and I will be doing an everyday carry video. And, uh, but this is definitely going to be in it because this is, um, a staple of my, my everyday now. Um, I always carry it. Sometimes I carry it with, uh, with its little brother and, um, carry the two of them together. It's just a, a really, really awesome piece. So, uh, definitely recommend you go get it. There's a few of them left with the Aussie online. I think now they're doing these in the, uh, the carpenter steel with a lot of their other knives um, but you can still get the os8 on uh on amazon and i think you can pre-order the carpenter steel on amazon i'll have a link to this below and uh definitely check it out this thing is just awesome i'm actually gonna do a video of just stabbing and cutting stuff with this uh just to show you how fucking awesome it is you know and it is like i said for self-defense purposes this thing is great and still thick enough back here where if you need it to pry, 
I, I wouldn't pry too much with it, but if you needed to, to cut something bigger, hack at something, pry something a little bit bigger, it could definitely withstand the abuse on this. And the lockup is just fucking beautiful. It's like perfect in there. It's really, really great. The attention to detail uh, that Cold Steel does on these pieces is is mind-boggling. Um, only thing with it, uh, like I said on the uh, the Holdout 3 review, this G10 uh, is very aggressive. Not quite as aggressive as the Holdout 3 because it's a smaller knife. This one's a little bit bigger. Um, but it's still aggressive. So I would definitely recommend taking off this clip and uh, just kind of sanding this area down here so it doesn't totally destroy your pockets. Uh, but overall, just an awesome knife. You get a lot for your money. And uh, it's super light, really quick to open and close. And uh, it's definitely a statement piece. So if you're looking to make a statement, this is the knife for you.